Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Bowser Jr. 115, or Boy Goes, as I'm known on KCMM. And today I'm going to be showing you how to T pose a model if it's not fully T posed. Um, in this case, I'm going to be using an Xbox 360 model. Um, most models from other consoles, as in like Xbox and PS3, uh, don't have fully T posed models. And again, for the T posed model, here's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what a T posed model looks like. So, obviously, all brawl bones have a T pose, which is. Hold on a second here. Do, 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 breaking models. So, here's a model from Brawl itself. This is just Mario. Um, you're, we want your model to look like this. This is what you're going to want your model to look like, in, like with, with the limbs out like this. Any humanoid character, any Pokemon, whatever you're doing, you're going to want it to look like this. So you're going to want, again, the arms out like that, the legs straight like that. And for Captain Falcon, I think, the legs bend out a little bit. Um, his legs are a little bit spread apart. But that, that it depends on which character you're rigging it over. And again, there are comp more comp imports get more complex the more complex your models are. So... Today, I'm going to be T-posing Animated Nightwing from Batman Arkham City's DLC, and I've already T-posed a part of his arm. So, basically, um, if we look at his arm here, let's do here, alright. So if we look at his arm, not only are they out to his sides like that and that, but I've already edited one of the arms, sorry about that, but I did it for the purpose of the video. But his arms go straight out and then they curve a little bit where his elbow bends. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make it a little bit more straight like this arm right here. And I haven't edited the hand yet, I'll have to do that later. But So we're going to want to make that arm like this arm. So to do this, we're going to have to go through a series of steps. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the polygon, uh, I mean the the mesh where your poop, where your character is, uh, where the part that you want to edit is. So in my case, this is all one gi giant polygon, which is the best you can get it. You don't want to go by rig by element, and it sometimes turns out crappy. But anyway, um, and you're going to want to click the modifier list and you're going to want to add an edit mesh modifier to your model. So after you do that, you're going to want to, it'll, you'll see this thing come up here and there's three dots and this is the vertex editor. So what this is going to do is we're going to be able to select the vertexes, move and rotate them at a time. So in my case, I already selected this arm here. Um, I don't need that selected. But again, to to select parts of your model, you just use a giant square you know, you can select all these vertices. So, and to deselect the vertices, you can hold down Alt and go like this. So if we were to select that part right here, and we didn't want the tips of his fingers selected, go like that. Hold down Alt, and then you drag them. But we don't want any of that arm selected right now, so here we go. So, this is this really isn't all that hard when the models are like this. It's just kind of annoying to do at times. But you have to do it in order to be able to rig it into Brawl. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hold down, and you can hold down uh, control after you've selected vertices. So you just want to get a generic part of the body part that you're going to want, that you want to rotate. But watch out because see how I selected some verts here on his foot on accident? That's pretty simple. Again, you just hold down alt and you select the verts that you don't want selected. So now you're now if I try to rotate this, if I, if I thought this was good, which it's not by the way, um, for rotating it, then what I'd do is I would literally just rotate it like that. But that's not good. That's not what we want. So hold on, I'll show you why that's not what we want. Um okay, so we're gonna try and get this straight. So if we were to rotate it like that. And then if we were to move it like that, now you might be thinking, oh yeah, looks nice, looks good. No, 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 no. Wait. Yeah, no. C 
because if we look at it like this, it kind of looks weird, wonky. But you can smooth it out. I think I actually did do it right on... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. See how this elbow goes out like that? Your elbow doesn't work like that. It doesn't look like that at all. So we're going to want to go back to the vertices. Um, and under the move, under the move, under the move, under the rotate. Okay. So you're going to want to make sure that you've selected like the even amount of verts. So it is, it's completely even. And it's kind of hard to do at times. You might have to select it vertice by vertice, which actually does get really tiring. But you're going to have to do it. It's the only way to do this. So you want to select normally on the arms, there's like little rings of vertices around each part. See how they how there's just like a, lot, a ring, a ring, a ring, and you're gonna want to make sure you get the whole ring of a vertice um, group. So looks like I only have a few verts left here. And again, this can be a very tiring process that will get frustrating at times. So you just gotta bear with it. Um, especially if you're trying to uh, select models, ooh boy, messed up, boy. Uh, especially if you're trying to do models that are barely even T-posed, like if they're ripped from a 3D model ripper, um, sometimes those aren't T-posed, uh, and that can get very annoying. But regardless, you're going to have to do this, um, and T-posing models is very, very tiresome. Sorry about my dog there. Okay. So, if we look at this, we're going to want to rotate it like that. And then you probably will have to move it. And then you move it out like this. So, you just move it. So your arm, so your arm looks good right there. All right, so that looks nice right there. So if you look at the arm, it should look generally smooth, and your elbow should look a lot better from before. So that's how you rotate that. All right. So now we should have his arms in a fairly generic pose. It should be working. It should look and make it a lot easier to see pose. Now. This is going to be the hard part. This is the the shoulders. So on the shoulders, it's basically the same thing, really. Um, only you're going to have to make sure you get the whole dang arm. So we got that, the majority of the arm already. Um, but there can be some problems uh, with when selecting um, characters like this, especially if they have a design or something up here on their shoulders, which is why I chose Nightwing. <laughs> because I know he had that, um, and I like him, but here we go. So I'm just going to try and select all the verts on the arm. So you just got to go in here and select the verts on the, in the armpits, and just make sure you've got the whole, whole arm all together. So once you've done that, you just did what you did last time. Uh, make sure you don't have any verts that aren't supposed to be selected. Uh, oops, I got a couple. I got a three here. So one, two, three. All right. So now that you've got the whole arm, generally, um, the whole arm, uh, you're just gonna want to rotate it like that and move it. So it fits the model. Now you might have some verts down here that do that, but I'm going to show you how to fix that because that happens to me pretty much all the time. So if you've got some verts to make him look like he's got like some kind of armpit stank or something, you just move it in so it looks kind of natural. I don't think it really worked. Oh, maybe it did. 
All right, so once you've done that, then you should have his arm in a pretty generic T pose. All right. Okay. So as you can see, now we have to T pose his hand. And hands aren't that much different than the rest of them. You just want to select the whole dang thing. Oops. Select the whole hand. And as you can see, I'm going to have some problems right here. So I'll do that piece by piece later, but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial because that's going to take a little bit. That's going to take some time and effort. Oh, I hate that. All right. So once you have his entire hand selected, um, or whichever you're trying to do, I'm going to rotate it. So it is in T-pose position. Ha. All right. I'll probably actually just rotate the bones later. Oopsie. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to rotate the bones later. All right, so I have his hand and his, this whole arm T pose to the most part. Um, and then you just do the same thing for other parts. So that's how to T pose the arms. So say I were rigging this onto, I'm going to rig this over probably Sheik. So say I were, so, say, so Sheik has legs that don't go out like this. She has legs that go straight down like that. Like that. So what you're going to want to do is again, you just select the whole leg. The whole leg. And I'm not even going to... And legs, legs you can get a little bit more slack on, which I do like. So, so once you get the legs and select the whole thing, you're going to want to go like that. To rotate his foot too, aren't I? Yes, I'm gonna have to rotate his foot so it is flat. All right, so I have some trouble areas right here. Oopsie poop, doesn't look good. Okay, I'll fix that up later. But basically, you just pull out the vertices, the problem vertices, and even them out, even whichever character you're doing. Um, so in my case, I just drag these out like that. So it looks nice and even. And that is how you T-pose models. Um, I'm going to be continuing my tutorials. Um, off of this guy so please comment rate and subscribe if you want more tips on model rigging um, alright peace out guys and happy roll